Reese and I had been fans of Anne's for a long time and we'd actually talked about it for several projects. Um, we had loved, I mean, I've, I've honestly loved all her movies. We loved Step Up, we loved 27 Dresses, we loved The Proposal, um, we loved The Guilt Trip. You know, there's very, very, firstly, there's very few female directors out there, sadly, full stop. And to have someone out there who really kind of understands, you know, how to how to direct women and and how to also kind of, you know, understand like what a commercial comedy looks like and you know how to kind of make that you know kind of a success in the marketplace. And we met, we had a fabulous meeting with her, and we just loved her energy and the dynamic was just so good between both her and Reese as, as actor director, but also just us as producers. And we knew that this would just be a really fun ride and she would be a great collaborator for us. You know, they obviously, it's a road movie, so they meet several characters along the way in this movie. Um, you know, we had a wonderful casting agent, Kathy Sandrich, who, you know, really just kind of put so much thought and love into, you know, every single role in this movie, no matter how kind of big or small. So the character of Red, you know, only obviously comes in for a couple of scenes, but, you know, it's a very funny, important couple of scenes. I don't really think there's a, you know, a bad role in this movie per se. And uh, we actually got an incoming call saying Jim Gaffigan was interested in the part and we were, we were immediately like, oh my God, just like offer him the role. He's so funny, you know, he's obviously a natural born comedian. Um, he physically was exactly right for the part. And we were just lucky that schedule wise that worked out and that he was able to come and kind of play for, you know, a week or so. One of the great things about developing your own material is that these the, these characters were written for these two women. And I think that, you know, it, everything great that, that kind of comes comes with the specificity of like writing specifically for, you know, for, for an actress like Reese who does play. I mean, you know, I, I kind of make jokes that like Tracy Flick grew up in this movie and she became a cop. You know, she's determined to succeed. And, at any price, but you know, she's obviously, she's much softer than Tracy Flick. But you know, Reese just, I mean, the, the, mo the main thing that's super exciting to me is to see, I just love seeing Reese play Southern. You know, she's a Southern girl at heart. You've, we've seen her play Southern, we haven't seen it enough in my mind. It's, you know, where she comes to life. You know, there's a rhythm to the kind of, the, 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 the way that, she, you know, that she becomes a Southern character that I just love to watch. There's an ease with which she performs. I think that, you know, the humor, her own sense of humor comes out, you know, when she's playing a, a character that's, you know, close to, you know, uh, you know her Southern roots. From the very first day that I saw them together, and I'm not even talking about when we shot the movie, I'm talking about at the hair and makeup tests, at the camera tests, when I saw those two people in costume together, and I just kind of sensed they're joking around their dynamic, I knew that, you know, this was a dynamic certainly that I wanted to watch and that I feel, you know, God willing would, you know, be successful on camera together. I think there's a really nice, just physically, and personality-wise, they're just completely different people. And so to put them together is just, you know, fun. It's so hard to see how dialogue humor will play until you see it. And, and it's often, you know, it often is the case with comedy is you don't really know what's gonna work until you hear it coming out of someone's mouth. I think the surprising thing for me in this movie is just how funny this, the physical humor is and just the smallest things that, you know, that I certainly I find amusing and I'm hoping an audience will find amusing. You know, Sophia trying to push Reese through a window. It just is funny when you're looking at it, you know. The, the Reese's body language and the, the kind of uptight nature of who she is and who Sophia is physically is just, you know, it's kind of great to, to watch and look at and see how that kind of plays out as their relationship develops on screen.